Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing with that walk on. Man, you tell me now. Just hey, here. man, we got a special guest in there today, y'all. Say, man, this guy came up, man. Hey, the boy be traveling a lot. I, last time I talked to him, he was in Hawaii, actually. <laughs> I ain't never seen nothing like this, man. Why do a man travel so much, man? It's got to be the money. Must be the, Deion Sanders say, must be the money. <laughs> My boy Bad News is in the building. Hey, I clear for low. Man. <laughs> How you doing, man? Man, I'm blessed, man. How y'all doing? Man, we hanging in there, bro. So, hey, man, it's good to see you, bro. Man, it's good to be seen and good to be here. Last time I seen you, Sir Charles, that uh, uh, just uh, came through and blessed the platform. We had just started. And, uh, man, it's just a blessing, man, to be them been on the block like we have uh, for, what, 10 months? Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. you know, just, just, just come into the game, man. And uh, God been blessing us man every time you look around man it's another blessing man if it weren't for that man above we wouldn't be right here right now where we at man man i look at it like this when sometimes when time get hard man somebody just got a light sitting in them on somebody hey. wake up hey i got another chance i open my eyes you know what i'm saying Ooh, boy you hey boy you going heavy real that's too, hey, that's it's real early in the interview to be going heavy <laughs> more than one way to hustle more than one way to hustle man i used to say that that's one of my favorite <laughs> sayings real. man so man you know uh going into the music i definitely enjoyed it man i, I know you i know uh the official miss jamaica got a few questions she got up her sleeve don't hey don't 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 trip she got them man talk to me talk to me yes yeah, so tell us a little bit about your up upbringing well, well, you know by my name, mm -hmm. I was a bad child, you know. I got that name. I was a child that... Like, how old were you when you got that name? Uh, 10 years old when I got shot. You got shot? Yeah. In oh, okay. The, in the head. They said it was like an inch close, I would have been dead. By who? Believe it or not, it was my cousin, Nick Doe. Playing wow. with a gun? Huh? Playing with a gun? Uh-uh. Meant to see, shoot see, you? You see how tall I am? Mean, I'm like 6'3". So when I was 10, I was like 5'10", but I was bad. Y'all remember, what was that name of that movie when that boy was stealing them um, CD players and he jumped over the fence? Uh, J-Rock on South Central. I was J-Rock. Yeah. <laughs> At 10 years old. At 10 years old. I was stealing my cousin's CD player out of his car. And he, he thought I was a grown man. So when I started running, he shot me. When, as soon as I so hit the corner. So he didn't know it was you? Nah, he ain't know. So that's why wow. my mom didn't press charges. Because I shouldn't have been out there. And I ran in the house. To my mama, crying like, "Mama, I got been shot." She ain't number twenty three. I mean, no, she was twenty nine then. Uh huh. And she uh, she like, "Boy, you ain't been shot." And she looked, just seen the blood running from my face and my face. Yeah, you know how the women how. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She went in. <laughs> yeah, hung up the phone. Yeah, but that's how I got the name, man. Like old folk, where I'm from, one street of houses. You know what I'm saying? It's a real hood. Yeah. So folk had little cuts coming through, going to the stores and stuff. My grandma was a bootlegger. Me and my partner, God bless the dead, he just got killed four years ago. We used to uh, hold rocks, and when they used to come through, they used to hit them in the head with rocks and run. Bow, oh, yeah. Bow. Yeah, that's just country. Bad, just bad, country. man. Bored like and bad. Too. Bored and bad. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, the reason yeah. why you were so bad, was that because of the environment that you were in? Do you think so? I or would, it just was in you to it, be bad? It was just in me, you know, because I ain't want for nothing. I was just bad, you know what I'm saying? So, how, had, long, how long did it take you to recover after you were shot um, in the head? Yeah. How long did it take you? Just, just, I was give, just hospital. take us through the process of how, like, once your mama seen it, how did they slow the bleeding down? Was it any? Uh, uh, I ain't gonna lie, man. It happened on. Did no, you go conscious? No. Yeah, I, I was gone. I was out for like three days. Wow. And I woke up that Tuesday. They put you out because you went to your mama after you got shot, and you were like, "Mama just got shot." So it's not like yeah, you sell out right then and there. My grandma's house right here. My cousin's mm -hmm. house, Nick. Though it's my grandma's brother, son. Wow. So what did he say when he found out that it was you? Crying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Crying, fussing. You know, it was a lot between my my family because I ain't never get a whipping. Wow. That's why I was so bad. Because my grandma, like, my mom used to try to whoop my grandma. Like, you hit my son, my grandbaby, you can put out this house. Wow. She, she wouldn't let nobody whoop. Were you an only child? Nah, it was me and my little sister. Oh, okay. But you were the only boy? Yeah, I was the only boy. That's why. <laughs> wow, and, and and so when you they how did how fat do I know you was you unconscious before you got to the hospital? 
Now, believe it or not, I remember being in the ambulance. Okay. But that's the last thing I remember. And I just remember my grandma was just over me just crying. That's the only thing I remember. Probably lost so much blood. You know, yeah. But the, Man, they, they, everything, they said everything on me from head to toe just soaked. Wow. Yeah. Boy, you, hey, boy, that's amazing that yeah, you still said, here. They said it was an inch close. I would have been dead. And you stayed in the hospital for how long? Do you remember? Nine days. Nine days you was in the hospital. When you got, yeah. when you came back to conscious, were you able to walk or? Yeah, believe it or not, bro. When I got back to conscious, that's what my mama said. It was an angel on me. When I got back to Cunningham, kind of I, I walked straight out the hospital. I was in basketball practice two days later. Ooh, <laughs> boy, you bad <laughs> with, with, a bandage, with a bandage on my head. Wow. Yeah, Did you bad. get a whooping after you got out and you recovered? Because mm -mm. I would have just tore that tail Believe up. Believe it or not, they spoiled me more. I used to get suspended from school, and my mama didn't used to take me shopping to the mall. Believe it or not, Why do bro. you think they was so... Hold so up, where was daddy in all of this? In prison. In prison. Wow. Yeah, was, what did he say? He write a letter home? No, nah, well, he got out and did the same thing. He got out and started cutting up? Yeah. He, so daddy, that's where you got it from. Daddy was daddy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, by the time from, from 11 to 12, I lost my daddy and all three of my older brothers to prison. One got 18 years, one got 22 years. The other one had got 14 and had just gave my daddy 18, all federal. That's your daddy's side. Because yeah. your mama only had you and one and your sister. Yeah, she got more children now, though, but back then, yeah. So back he then. came home? Yeah. Well, how long ago did he come home? He came home, believe it or not, the day before I graduated. Could, how was it growing up without a father? It was it, it, it was rough, but it wasn't because my mama got married, and he the man, he, he was so much like a father to me. You know what I'm saying? God bless that. It seemed like it's like I had a father because he did everything that my daddy did. And this in Alabama? Yeah, but how what, old what was he whenever? Go ahead. Hold on. Well, how old was he? How old were you when he came into your life? Twelve, a little too late. Yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I'm trying to figure. Right. I was trying to figure that out. That's so, my thing. So, <laughs> like, so where was he? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he didn't come till twelve. Yeah, I was twelve. Wow. But, but, but he saved me though. I, like I said, I graduated, and there's I knew he wanted that one. Well, none that would have happened. But wow. that shot, though, that you got, did that teach you a lesson, like, not to come out, not to be doing all that? Like, what did you learn from being shot? Anything? You talking back then? Yeah, back then. Then? <laughs> For real. But I ain't gonna so, lie to you. So you I, I was just young and, and wild. And I, reckless. Yeah. It, you know how, like, a, a, a robber get a thrill, even though they got money, they just go steal, just do it for the thriller? It's like I was just doing it for the thriller, just to see if I can get away with it. There's some young, young boys probably following you, too. Yeah, well, I was the youngest in the clique. But they still follow Yeah, me. yeah. And you almost <laughs> lost your life and you didn't even say, man, I ain't going to do this no more. I got to live for my mama. Man, it's crazy, man. My life, man, it's crazy. Like, I, I, they made me graduate a year late because the day I was supposed to graduate a year before, my mama had told me to drop my little sister off at a friend house. I'm going around the corner. I'm six, 17, just turned 17. I run into a roadblock. I got two pistols on me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And they locked me up, so my mama made the graduation. You didn't even make the graduation? No, nah, so they called my name <laughs> at the graduation. They just looking. They get home. You know, back then, it wasn't really cell phone. You got to call the house and leave That's a voicemail. Right. Man. Mm -hmm. man, I blow that phone up, bro. I blow that phone up. And so. you couldn't run. So, so when they, when they got you, was I, there. Yeah, the baby, I had a baby, my baby sister. She went yeah. number three. See, if it was me, I would have left the car and everything. He couldn't leave her. <laughs> I couldn't leave her, bro. I but what I'm her. saying is, when you when you, when they had the roadblock, were they looking for you? No, nah, it was just a random roadblock. They just decided they're going to check everybody. It was just checking everybody. I ain't have no license. And then... You can reverse it. <laughs> uh, and my mama was rushing because she was trying to get ready for the graduation. Mm -hmm. So she asked, she like, Toy, can you run around? Because I was already ready. Man, you all seen my mug shot. A tie, like I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that boy was clean when he got his mug shot. So, so did you, how did you end up uh, beating those charges? Man, my grandma, they gave, they gave me the first offenders act. Okay. So that was your first time. Yeah, I got the first offenders act, but they was trying to, it happened in May. And I was finna be 18 in August. They, they won't try as adult. And I was always getting away with stuff. So they were trying to wait till I was 18 to give me 10 years. But my grandmama did some, paid some lawyers or something before, got me in court like two weeks before I turned 18. And they gave me six months probation. Yeah. Wow. 
You just so, so you should have named yourself Lucky. No, nah, bad news, bad news. So, <laughs> so when you first, yeah, cause yeah, he, he come, with, yeah, he come with the bad news first. I mean, I, I've been blessed, man. That's why right. I know. That's why I know God got a purpose for me. So man. I'm just trying to figure out. So when you when you didn't go to graduation, you went to jail. You you how long did you stay in jail? That day. And then you got out that day, but you had to go back to court, fight charges, yeah, fight charges. Yeah, I had to charges. go to court. They put me in drug classes. Uh, really, yeah. Really, man, I really seen some folks in there that really had problems. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't I, have them. I, I, uh, I was looking up. It was scary. I said, I'd rather be in jail. These folks in here looking crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those bumps all in their face, hair on head. You know what I'm wow. saying? Wow. I was like, wow. So, so what do you think God was trying to show you through all of that? The slow down, man. And then my second class, they pissed, they pissed me out of everybody. They said, and you failed. And they, cause I was paying attention. I was doing all the work. They were like, now look, this young boy is an example. <laughs> I go, I said, thank you, ma'am. They said, you willing to do anything for your team in here? I said, I help them all. They're like, go show them how it's done. So I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm walking to the board. She was like, nah. And gave me a cup. I said, what they for? I said, no. I go in there and piss dirty. She uh <laughs> talked to me. We'll go back to class. She do it again next week. I pissed dirty. Again. Again. But you smoking weed. Yeah, yeah. I was smoking weed. And so the third time, she said, look, I'm just going to write you off <laughs> because I know you got to take up my basketball coach. Cause see, I had scholarship everywhere for basketball. Wow. So my, the coach would kept coming up there. And she was like, I'm just going to write you off because I don't want to be the reason you be a failure. She wrote me off. Wow. She was black? Mm-mm. Really? An older white lady. Wow. And she was crazy about me because her son played basketball with me. Like I said, I was always lucky in some kind of That's situation. That's what I'm saying. You're lucky. <laughs> wow. And wow. If I would have failed and went to jail, we wouldn't have went to state. Wow. Did y'all win? Uh-uh. They got whooped. Them niggas wasn't trying I got, to hear. I got suspended the day before. <laughs> At school, they suspended me the day before. I couldn't even play this. So you're saying because you weren't there that they didn't win? <laughs> of course. Were you? <laughs> That's it. You would too? Yeah, yeah, if I took you, you all the goat, right? I'm the GOAT. Already. So <laughs> Everybody think they the man. That's right. So so when you when you when you, coming up in Alabama, what part was it? Uh Phoenix City. Right Phoenix by City. Montgomery. I I was raised in Alabama and Georgia. Right by you know Montgomery. Right by each other. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, Montgomery. Uh, who we got down in Montgomery? That's that boy. Was he from Montgomery? The the, the boy. Uh, you remember them dirty boys? No, Dobie. them Dobie and uh, that boy that just went to jail that signed the uh, rap a lot. Uh, 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 what's that boy name? That nigga that he, he was cutting boy up, boy. He cut up. He in jail right now. His grandma got killed too. And granddad. Uh, 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 Honeycomb Brazy. Honeycomb Brazy. I never got to meet him, but when my partner put me on him, oh man, I just kept listening to that music while he was they down there. They just gave him four years, huh? That's all he got? I think they gave him four oh, years. Oh yeah, that's, he coming on home, Jay Prince and them, that ain't nothing to them. Man, that joint was crazy what happened bro, man. He went through a lot. Yeah, bro. What? Woo! <laughs> man, but you know, God is still good, and yep, he in the in yep, the midst. He's yep. gonna be all right. That little time to sit down, maybe it'll, you know, yep. slow him down a little bit. As you get older, it will, man. Like it, 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 it it'll, it'll enjoy along. You know what I'm saying? Because the the kid these day, I thought I was bad, bro. But you say as you get older. See, that's heavy right there. Yeah, as see, you get see, older, people don't realize, some people late. be like, oh man, he done came home. He changed. That nigga got older. Yeah, and wiser. Some people get older and still go through the same stuff. I agree. I, I agree, agree, but many times people change. No, a yeah. lot. The majority of people do, but you still have some who still do the but same thing. But do you thing. think a lot of that got to do with your surroundings? A lot of it do. Uh, that's what I agree And then too. some people say, well, it's just in me. Some people bl- blame it on well, my daddy. I'm a firm believer in you are who you surround yourself with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And in your mind. It mm-hmm. has a lot to do with your mental state. Sir Charles always told me that he was like, nephew, just sit down sometime and evaluate your circle. He told me that one day, he was mad. I done did. I did something. He was mad at me about something. He like sit down and evaluate your circle. He was like, now look at what everybody got going on around your circle. Do you think that's the circle you need to be in? That's real. And I evaluated it, and I just slowly started removing the pieces, and life just started slowly getting better. Like I'm blessed, bro. I've been in so and so ten months, man. I got a, me and Sir Charles got two songs on the number one streaming movie on BET right now. Wow. They're around the hood story started ripping them off. Wow. Mm-hmm. Man. When he told me I started so, removing them folk, bro. 
and it, and God started lifting you yeah, up. I, and we're going to get into the music, but when well, you come up in Alabama, I want to go back to Alabama yeah, just for a I minute. Was, but I was going to ask a question where something related to that is um, looking back on your life and all the bad news and all the stuff that you've been going through, when did it start to change? As in how old were you when you started looking like, you know what, I keep escaping from all of this. I know God is talking to me. How old were you? Believe it or not, and you, when you ask me that question, I swear to God, chill just went through my body. Because, like, if you know, if a person know me, they know my grandma, my everything. Like, my grandma was getting sick, and uh, I had did, what what I had did? I had just had a shootout with some boys. And How I, old? I was like 22, 23. And you were there, in Alabama, or you were here? No, nah, I was I was I was in Alabama, Alabama. but God like God so good, the deputy sheriff knew my grandmama. Mm-hmm. They were like, You better tell that boy to sit down because we can't keep sparing this boy. And she had got sick and she I ain't never seen her cry in my life. Never seen her cry. And she was on, in the hospital. She was like, baby, just do one thing for me. Just change your life before I leave. And when she told me that, and I seen I had one son and he was like three years old, but he understood what she said. And he just started crying. And after that, I just woke up. You know what I'm saying? I started slowly. I ain't just changed at one time. But I just started slowly removing pieces again to my life where I was messing up at. Like, now nah, you can't pay me to call a female the B word. I won't do it because she hate that word. I don't cuss in my music no more. She like, if you go do some music, have a meaning to it. Everybody want to hear about guns, drugs, and degrade women. Because got, you got a daughter. And I just, like like he said, you get older, you just get wiser. Yeah. And I look back at the stuff I did. They say karma come back on you. And I'm, that's why I try to change now because I don't want my kids, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, put me through them headaches because my dad was in jail, you know what I'm saying. I'm here, and I'm doing right by y'all, so y'all ain't really got to have no reason. And when I say that, I sit back and think, I ain't have no reason. But I, just, I was just about you to say that saying? because you said that you – didn't need for your mama did everything she could, you know your grandma, but all of that. At the same time, they did, but it was always a void missing. I didn't have that daddy love because my daddy was out. He was there for my brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying. But I never got that love when he was home before he went to prison. When he got out of prison, you know what I'm saying. I, I just ain't never got that love from him. That was a void I was missing. Wow. Subconsciously, because you really didn't know that. Yeah, and I think a lot of my troubles came from that because when, I remember when I was younger, he used to pull up, but he was a hustler, so he, he'll stop by, drop money off, and keep going. I knew I wasn't going to see him for so long, so I figured if I get in trouble, he might pull up and mama keep calling, mm-hmm. and it started working until he went to jail, you know what I'm saying? And Did you ever around. visit him in jail? Nah, they wouldn't let me visit They wouldn't let, let you visit him? I was on probation. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Boy, boy, boy. So when you're on probation, you can't visit somebody? No, no not parole, in the none of that. I don't okay. know about state, not in, the, not in the federal. Even though I was a child, I still couldn't see him because I had a record. Mm. Wow. So, you know, um, I guess we can get over into the music a little bit, man. You got, you've got you been ripping through the uh, internet, I call it. It's not like it used to be when you was doing CDs. How did you end up starting to rap? Believe it or not, me and my partner... Shout out to Lil John. We were watching a Booster DVD one day. Right before Booster went to prison, his first DVD. And he was like, oh, cause, you know, I was in the streets real heavy. And he was like, man, bro, you doing everything Booster doing. You taking care of all your homeboys, your kids, your family. You got a story to tell. He said, try putting it in a rap. And I tried it, and it's just been on ever since. So when you put it in a rap, so it, it, and, and did you look up to what Boosie was doing as far as just him being in the type of rapper he was? Yeah, but that was my dog, but see, I came up in that, I was on that Soldier Slim, C Murder, Mac. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Boosie, yeah. Boosie, Boosie Webby, You know Webby. what I'm saying? So, savage I used to look, life. Yeah, Savage. You know, I went hard, How didn't. old were you? Uh, when I first started rapping? Mm-hmm. Uh, 25. Okay. 25. And, and, and you was rapping and you doing your thing. How did you try to get on? Because a lot of times people don't know how to get on when they first start. Let's talk about that for a sec. See, I, I brought the. You can talk how you want to talk on him? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Clear as throat. This is the old news talking. <laughs> I brought, I just brought the dope boy mind frame into the music game mind frame. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I ain't finna be over here selling no nicks and dimes when I know a dude that can go throw me a quarter pound or a pound. 
or a brick or two. So what I did was I got in them rap game, met some people in Louisiana. I linked up with Booster Cousin Hatch Boy, the dude Loco that sang on all the hooks. We linked up and shot out to Johnny Red. He was one of Booster right hand men. So boom, I made I started making music. I linked up with Hatch Boy. I said, oh, I hit him. I said, how much you want for a verse? I hit it cousin. Don't all of I bought verses from all of them. You wow. know what I'm saying? So now I got verses from all of them. You gotta be small, y'all think like a dope. But let's put a visual with it so they can see who this dude is on this song. They know these dude. They don't got no face behind this. That's kid. right. So I went shot went out there, shot video. We start we made bones. And it been on ever since. Boosie got out of jail. I did a couple shows, tours with them, him, Webby. And my name just got known. Then Mr. Servon found out about me, shot Mr. Servon for No Limit. And you know, he my mentor. Yeah. Him and Young Bleed. And my name just got the ring, bro. So, so me, You got to put money behind yourself. So you, when you first met Boosie, you, you conjured up, I'll say, this relationship with all of these guys that uh, do the work around him. Right. And say, I'm going to work with them. And it really wasn't targeting Boosie, but just getting that whole machine behind you. Yeah, because you got to think right? about it. Yeah, because he was going to be the hottest dude when he came home. Yeah. So it don't nobody know you. It ain't using nobody. It's being smart because they ain't doing it for free. I paid for these That's verses. right. That's you know right. what I'm saying? I paid the ride I had to go on to. I had nobody for no money, for no hotels, no food. I brought everything. Wow. You can't do nothing but respect a hustler, bro. But so when you when you do this with them, you build a relationship up. Boosie come home, you meet Boosie. How does that go? I meet Boosie. We link up. You know what I'm saying? We was in the studio one day. He was like, look, man, I like your grind. He said, man, wherever I met you at. Wow. He said, come on. That's fave. He said, I rock with you, bro. He said, you rock with my family? I rock with you. And he respected me. We just been cool ever since. So that's a dope, dope way to, to be. So he's seen the grind in you. Yep. And me and him managers, you know, we so cool. We keep talking about, talk. I know, Shout, Shout T-Q. and T. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's all love, bro. Yeah, I was on the phone with Shout uh, about a month or so ago when I was trying to get boosted, mm-hmm. about two months ago. Yeah, you know, was, me, him, me, uh, me and Sir Charles will be out there at the birthday bash. Charles on it. We'll I'm supposed to be out there. In Jackson, Mississippi, on November 21st. I'm supposed to be out there. I, yeah. I, there's some things happening right now, but I ain't going to speak on it, but I was supposed to be, I was supposed to be doing some stuff out there. Right. But if, if I do or if I don't, that's still a dope event, man. Yeah. And uh, it's just a, a blessing for you to be out there. So you already been asked to be on the uh, on the show. Yeah, I'm, but uh, see, <clears throat> again, it's a thing. I, I, if y'all be here, I be there. I don't, I don't got books somewhere else, a whole, like, a thousand miles away. Wow. Wow. And getting on the planes, getting here and getting there, kind of rough. But, you know, we make it happen. It just, yeah. but see, I know this is a day show. I might be able to make it to Jackson by nine. Yeah. Does I all of that traveling take a toll on you? No, I love this shit. I love it. Because one thing I always looked at people who is in the entertainment business, just like how you said, it might be a day show and you can jump on a plane and be over here. So sometimes it's not like you over here and you stay over here till tomorrow. Sometimes you'd be jumping, okay, as soon as it's finished, I got to go over here. I got to do this. I got to, and that'd be days that you're doing that. Yeah. That doesn't but get see, tiring. It do, but it just like, like I said, I brought the dope game to the rap game. They're like, this dude over here wants something. This dude over here wants something. Dude, I got to go make all these things. I got to make money. I know what I got to do at the end of the day. I'm going to be But the difference is, okay, when you rap or you sing, you got to take care of your voice. So I don't, with cause you, I rap. So, I don't got to do nothing. I don't got to drink no certain type of water. None of that. I don't got to do nothing. All I got to do get on there and get the mic on. And go I want to get back on this boosty thing. You know, go ahead. Go you ahead. know, because I definitely want to understand how do you link up with Boosie for the bash. There's a lot of different people. And, I'm, and bear with me. There's a lot of different people that want to be on that bash. Yo God is one of the, the, the names on that bash. Right. How do bad news, how he get the call, or do Boosie just call you, or your or, or your, your manager work it out? Man, on that type of level, though, man. Because y'all been knowing each other. Yeah, so. we been knowing each other, but like on that type of level, I let Sir, Sir Charles handle all that. You know okay, what I'm saying? He, that's he dope. Holla, he holla I get people, it. You know what I'm saying? Because we all like a circle of family. You know, he called Boosie his nephew. Yeah. So he just make the call and, you know. And, and, you know, yeah. he the king. Who going to tell the king now? That's man. right. That's right. <laughs> so I just, I, that, that's all I wanted to, uh, to know. So, so okay. How did you meet Sir Charles? Did you, you didn't go on? No, no, I'm going to get to that. But okay. I want to know how him and, uh, okay, you knew Boosie. Yeah. But Sir Charles didn't know Boosie. You, you, we we fit to walk up to that. He met Boosie first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I met Boosie back See what I'm saying? I'm walking, I, I <laughs> I'm walking with him. I see where you're going with him. Yeah, I'm walking <laughs> with him. I know, I, I'm watching what's going on because I know already that that relationship and that build up happened before 10 months ago. 
Right. Yeah, yeah. So you see what I'm saying? So yeah. you did that on your own. You had a lot of self-starter in you. And that's what I be trying to figure out with all these artists that say they want to be in music. Yeah. You got to have some go-get in you. Yeah, that was you got to be smart too, enough man. to make make people recognize that you a hustler. Yeah, it's man. a hustle in what you see. You got to make them respect you, bro. Exactly. You got to let them know you go go get it either exactly. way it goes, man. That's the whole game. So when you said that, it really, it's in volumes. Like, okay, I know that you a real yeah. live hustler when it comes down to making something happen because anytime you say it in your mind I'm going to meet these people surrounding Boosie even though Boosie may be locked up may not even be in a circle but yeah. I know that's his circle So and that's faith too yeah and I know he's did serious. you hear what I just said faith, faith. no faith. that's faith for sure favor for sure but faith yeah because you don't know if Boosie going to get out yeah bro you don't believe in yourself who did is. you hear what I just said mm-hmm. you don't know Mm-mm. That girl, until I heard that little girl say, uh, he coming home today. He coming <laughs> yeah. home today. I yeah, told yeah, this, I, I told y'all I thought, boy, she done got older too, yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, so how how was it when, when Boosie, and, I, and I'm skipping a little bit, but when Boosie got shot in Dallas, how did that impact you? Like, what did you think? Believe it or not, bro, I had to take out my plane that morning. Okay, from Dallas. From Dallas. Yeah, man, I get out the plane, I said, Boosie shot in Dallas. On the same interstate I was looking at. Wow. From a balcony. You see what I'm saying? I said, man, this is crazy, man. That's why I be like, I want the money. I don't want the fame, bro. Mm-hmm. I want to still be able to walk into the mall with my kids and kick it with my mama. Like wife. Deion Sanders. Yeah, man. I, 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 nah, man. I don't, want, I don't want no security with me everywhere I go. I don't want no security, period. Okay, so you still didn't tell me how it affected you. Did you like, dang, man, that's my boy. Did you try to check on him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you see what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm just yeah. digging. I mean, it affected me like I I was most scared about him losing the leg, bro. I thought about mm-hmm. that, and that, that confirmed diabetes, bro. Because he had diabetes, diabetes. diabetes. You know already. Mean? That what I was more worried about. I'm like, man, this man lose his leg, bro. If this man lose his leg, cause I know what the man I'm been through, man. Folks say what they want about Booth, man, but Boo got a hard to go, man. Boo will help you if he can, bro. Now, I met you see us on that wall right there. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something. Boo will help you if he, he can. He, he one of the ones that I like it because he kind of like me. What you see is what you get. Yeah, man. Ain't no faking and shaking. He going to lay it down the way it's supposed to be laid down when exactly. he meets you. Right? See, a lot Didn't of folks that? say that about it. He sees some flower in you, he ain't going to rock with you. He going to dry him out the fuck out you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He ain't going to. You say something. Like, yeah. I think he being arrogant. Yeah. He just feared that fake shit, bro. Wow. That's you know dope, man. I yeah, like that. that. Shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, so lead us up to um, Sir Charles. I, we, Sir he Charles. gave us a little bit of the story. Sir Charles told us kind of how he met him. Yeah. But I want to hear I your side. I want to hear from yeah. your side of the story. So I uh, I had just dropped the R&B album. It was called uh, Rhythm and Bad. Okay. I was trying something because we were sitting at the round. I said, man, what can we do to stand out and be different, bro? Like, I'm tired of doing gangster rap, you know what I'm saying? I'm tired of not knowing you gonna leave a show. I gotta get on my chair, man. So I try to argue. How many kids you have, you just got two? No. <laughs> how many you he have? Said, he said no. Look how he looking. How many you got, <laughs> Bo? How many you got, Bo? Eight? No. That boy got eight is enough, Papa baby. Papa was a rolling stone. Wow. Yeah, 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 that boy got eight of the babies. Wherever he laid his head <laughs> was his home. And when he died, died. yes sir. <laughs> but if I was a rolling oh stone, gosh. ain't that wrong How with it, bro? Is the youngest Be fruitful one? and multiply. Eight. Eight. Yeah. Wow. How old is the oldest? 20. Wow. 20. That's wow. dope, man. That's yeah. dope. You boy, done? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Because eight year old is the youngest. I mean, it's been a while, so. Savage life. Now, he's savage life for real. And you mind you yourself? Boy, what? That's why I don't think I'm having That's right. Nope, I ain't having no more. Because one be bad than him, boy. I know my mama done went through. Eight how is many enough? boys, how many girls? Five and three, five boys, three girls. Mm. Hey, eight is enough. Eight you is got the, the boys, that's all you got, and you got the girls. Man, I got a basketball team and three on the side. Hey, <laughs> so so let's get to this uh, Sir Charles uh, story. So you 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 basically you already rapping? Yeah. You already uh, trying to figure it out still? Yeah. And, and, I did and, the R and B, and I said, oh, uh, I said, uh, I told my manager, Mr. G, shout out to Jeff Hunt. I said, look, bro, I said I'm finna um, reach out to Sir Charles and do a blues song. He said, man, get the fuck out of here. That's how he talk. <laughs> get the- you remember the little short dude that was Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. I met him that day. I talked to him on the yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah. He was like, man, I said, bro, I said, I'm finna hit this man up. I said, bro, they can't say with two things. Yes or no? That's my mind mentality. You can't say with two things. Yes, yes or no. no. So, boom, I hit him up. I said, hey, man, 
uh, yada, yada, I'm, I'm new with you from Phoenix City. I'm trying to do a verse with you. He was like, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, give me a thousand dollars. I like, all right, uh, when you ready? He hit me like, you see her? I'm like, yeah. He like, you don't even know where I'm at. I said, shit, you too far? I catch a plane. <laughs> wow. <Where> you, at? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He like, I'm in yada, yada, boom, boom. I said, oh, that ain't nothing but I don't have for me. I said, I'm on the way. Shoot me the address. He was like, you serious, ain't it? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, dude, what's up? You know what I'm saying? He won't. So he shot me the address. I guess he thought I, uh, one of them crazy fans trying to find out where he stay at. So he sent me to the mountain, shout out to Jay. They, I, they gave me the address, I pull up there. Him and Jay and uh, Jay, Jay came up with the hook, Ride or Die. Him, wow. and, him and Jay, shout out to Jermaine Ray. Man, I was just listening to that Ride or Die. That's a yeah. dope song, man. So he ended up recording. He like, you ain't gonna take all day with your verses. I'm like, nah, I'm through. He like, what you mean you through? I said, here they go right here. He said, you just started. I said, I'm through. Let's, you ready? So <laughs> that boy, that boy, shot at shot, shot the three fifth on the beats, man. Uh, he felt the beat so much, he went in and put his own little thing in it. That bad he felt the beat. Wow. So we recorded the song. He like, man, it's something about you, dude. He said, I'm finna save your life, man. He said, I'm finna bring you on in the family, man. I said. Hi. I said, I'm just doing a song. I said, you can't, I can't do no whole Southern Soul or Blue album. He said, man, I'm the king. You can do what you want to do over here. Wow. He said, but I'm going to break it down to you how to do it. He said, by the end of the year, 2022, nigga, you're going to be a superstar. Wow. He said, it go come so fast, you ain't going to believe it. That's what he told me. He ain't lying. Yeah, no, he ain't, nah, ain't lying. <laughs> man, I've been booked the past nine months every weekend, man. I know it. And that's dope. I mean, to get off a plane in Atlanta and try to catch 30 minutes of my little boy football game before I get back on another plane. Mm. Wow. But that, but you you wanted it. Yeah, yeah I want it. I ain't going to play here. They ain't going to play either. Wow. Every time they see me, they had to be. Hey, well, Dad. Wow. With that hand out. Hey, Already, Dad. man. But they show it trying to give me no doubt. But you see, the thing that I look at, well, I look at, is the fact that you miss out on so much in their lives because you're out there getting it. You don't get yeah. to spend the quality time. You know what I mean? But the good thing about that, I ain't missed but nine, ten months of it. I done been to the wrist. So See that? Yeah. They they know what's going on. Y'all know y'all getting older. Y'all know what y'all feel y'all want in life. Y'all now y'all know what Christmas come around. Daddy probably go buy y'all four, five, four wheels now without having to mm-hmm. do all that. That's you know all what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you 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 came and you met Sir Charles and you did you have a, a any inkling, did you have a clue of what what was about to happen? How it was going to happen? Nah, man. Cause okay, when he told me that, it ain't dwell on me till I got like an hour from that house. You know how Instagram tag in on the post? Yeah, they said Sir Charles Jones tagged you on the post. I said, Charles, I go to read it. He like, uh, hello, Instagram fan. I want to welcome to the family my first artist. Y'all bad news three three four. It's time for the world to see what you made of. When he when he clicked that. And I seen about an hour they had like five, six thousand views. I got like nine, nine or a thousand. Uh, people got they ain't gonna add on me and shit. I'm like, wow. You know, a lot of times when you when you think about just um, the blessings of God, man, yeah. I always take everything back to God. Yeah, that way, um, it, come, that way um, it started. When you think about the blessings of God, man, and what God has in store for you, 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 you it's been written. But you can't understand how it's happening. Right, right, right. Some right, some people right. say you can't see the picture from being in the picture. Yeah. yeah right? Yeah. I couldn't believe it, man, cause when when he did that, uh, the first time he brought me on stage, bro, I was scared of hell. You had never did it like that? Not no southern soul. Yeah, yeah, because you didn't know how they was gonna accept no, you. No. When he brought me on stage, he, he did a speech on me told about the folks and uh he made them drop my single when it, but when soon the song dropped, the folk that went crazy. Wow! I'm like, what the hell? How they even know this song? I ain't even released this. They just loved it. They just felt the vibe. Yeah, it, it been on ever since. Wow! So, and this was in what city? Verbena, Alabama. In Alabama, Verbena, Alabama. And he dropped it right there. He dropped it right there. Yep. And and, and I and, didn't even know he was go and I and I had been to like three four shows with him. I wasn't expecting him to, you know what I'm saying, that to go on. So just in case y'all don't know what's happening right here, let me break this down for y'all, man. <laughs> uh, my boy Bad News is in the building, man. Just so you guys understand, he is a Southern Soul 
rapper. Yeah. It, it, rap, so Southern Soul has a lot of... Uh, see, let me tell y'all something else. Y'all don't cover Southern Soul either. I'm the only one. This Talk podcast right here is, is different than most. Uh, Boss Talk Podcast 101 love the Southern Soul. We in the South. Right. And so we couldn't do it no other way. Home and bro. we didn't just get no anybody. We got the best of anybody that you could get because he got songs with Sir Charles Jones. He got songs with Pokey Barrel. He, he, he got songs and, and, and they dope. It the ain't just no trash. On on. Y'all ain't yeah, the list goes on and on. And, and I seen your grandma on that porch. Yeah. That's surprise. grandma. Yeah, I that know. Grandma. I know that with grandma. Yeah, that, was grandma. that red brick house. Yeah, red brick Look, house. Hey, man, that don't play me. I'm watching what's going on, man. <laughs> See, this is what right. I do right here. All right. I really care about what I'm talking about here. And I wasn't going to get you on here and not understand where you was coming from because gotcha. I, I I know about grandma grandma died for me long time ago both of my grandma yeah, and to be honest with you man that's a bond that you got to respect and you got to keep understanding the connection is she still living yes sir she'll be man, 91 eight months. 91 man yep. so so you going home frequently yeah man bro when I'm there I'm there when you there you there well huh and I can't blame you for that, man. So I got a seven bed, four bedroom house, bro. I sleep on her couch when I'm there, bro. You ain't even trying to hear it. Mm-mm, I don't so, want to hear it. So supply. <laughs> well, how did you guys come up with supply? Man, you want to know the crazy part about supply, bro? That's you and Sir Charles, right? Ain't? It was supposed to be Sir Charles and Beanie Siegel. Okay. Sir Charles, he said one night he called me late one night, like three thirty in the morning. He like, Neil, I'm just sitting here contemplating all night about this song. He was like, Beanie Siegel, keep. He didn't want me to do this song for him. And I got the song. He heard it, but he need me to send a breakdown. He said, but some keep telling me this song for me and you. And it's, it really explaining your life. And he sent me that hook. I sent that song back in 25 minutes. Wow. I said, now, nah, I ain't going to be dirty. I said, you listen to mine and listen to him. Whatever you go with, I ain't tripping. That's right. I'm signing up under you. I want to see us both eat. So if you send to him, we go eat. That's right. It's a family, bro. That's what a lot of folks fail to realize. Everybody want to be greedy. Man, that man look out for me in so many ways, bro. Ain't nothing I wouldn't do for that man. I already know it. You know what I'm saying? Well, shout out to Sir Charles who who hooked me up. It ain't none of y'all business, but he, <laughs> he hooked me up with stuff, and we we you know trade our stuff. That's my guy, man. Ever since that day, you yeah. know, we had a lot of run-ins after that. Yeah, man. And I love that dude, man. He didn't have to open his door to me and my wife like he did. He real, and bro. He, and 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 I and I ain't, I ain't gonna never forget it. God yeah. opened doors no man can shut, man. And that man came into our life, and he been 100. When I text him, he might not get back to me right then, but he yeah, gonna but get, yeah, back get back to back. me. Yeah, yeah. And, and he get and he would get upset about somebody if they didn't do right by me, too. Oh, I yeah, found yeah, that that's out, him. too. Yeah, that's he, don't, he didn't play about it. Once we linked in, man, Sir Charles Jones. Once he locked in with you, bro. Hey, man, he been, all, he been, he been you, straight bro. up with me, man. Yeah. And that's why I've been like, man, I got to get to him. I'm going to get him. I'm going on that show. Where he'll be at? The nigga don't know I'm running up on that nigga. But no, man, so you guys linked up. Up, and when you guys linked up, it was just it, it the, the songs ride or die. Uh, uh, the 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 way you guys came in on that one was even dope. Man, you know what I'm saying? That was a dope move. Yeah. We, so but, how long did y'all take process that for me? Man, that ride or die, man. That's the that's the song that he signed me with. I know that you told yeah. me that, but I, but process it for me. Let me know. It was like he was like, what kind of song you want to make? I said a song. I just, I just want to explain a woman. Because you went into it a little bit, but I just yeah. know that if the, for y'all to connect, you didn't give me everything. Yeah, I said, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I'm going to get to you the way it is, bro. He said, uh, what kind of song you want to make? I would like a song just describing a female that's all the way down for you. And Uncle Jay was like, ride or die, I got a hook for you. Mm-hmm. Search your song, that hook. That nigga went in on. And, I got it. Yeah, yeah. Man. And, the, and, and, and the rest was history, man. Stop playing with him. You really yep. can't play with that man, man. That man nah, really man. changed the whole process of blues Southern and blues. to be to make it Southern blues. It, yeah. it was a transitional phase, man. Yeah, Real he did talk. That, man. And we needed him too, so we could keep listening to that music. Yeah, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here, bro. I already know I it, man. God, I'm grateful for. Are you feeling me? Yeah. Big poke. I mean, uh, poke it, poke it bear. How did y'all? <laughs> how did y'all link up to do that? Uh, Sir Charles. Really? You know what I'm saying? We uh, I met him out there in Tampa, Florida at a show with Sir Charles, and we clicked, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, he from Louisiana. You know, I used to be with all them boys in Louisiana. We got to talk. I'm like, man, we need to do something. He, you know what I'm saying? He was like, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm like, what you charge? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He, he gave me his price. We went from there. We went to Louisiana to the studio. Wow. And made history. 
Wow, that's dope, man, that you're able to link in with these people, man, and, 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 it, and it makes sense. And, yeah. and, and, cause if it, it got to make sense, it, man. If it didn't make sense, you wouldn't be doing mm -mm, it, man. Because I wouldn't be making no dollars. There it is. So, so do you feel like uh, um, when you – when you how do you feel when you walk on the porch of that brick house, man? That 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 maroon because I I said man I don't want to know the history of that house that that ain't where you got shot and came into that house yeah on the side of that stop house stop playing that the side of that house right now <laughs> yes sir when I looked at it I house. said boy that house got history I knew yep, it yep and my grandmama daddy bricked that house my grandma that house been up since uh nineteen oh four wow wow yep nineteen oh four. What grandma said, Ted, she done told you some stories about that house. Man, man. <laughs> she, she shot her husband in the house. See what huh? I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. How, didn't, so what did she tell you? Right? What did she say? Yeah, he she died. She killed him? He's dead. Wow. And she didn't serve no time. Mm -mm. It was like self defense. 1953. Self defense. Yeah, yeah, I believe it was an abusive relationship. Wow. Mm -hmm. So she's still here. She's been through a lot. Yeah. Man, she but still drink her moonshine. Dude, she still drink it. Man, White lightning. That's man, them strong was, woman. Man, when I wow, was young, listen, man, thing. when I was young, bro, you know how them old people always want to be the first people at church? Have us on the front row with her now. Be the last person to eat church. As soon as we get on that little one street, she got called lying up the street. The neighborhood bootlegger. <laughs> I love Sell, it. Selling candy, liquor, bill. I'm like, right, now, Grandma, what? Mind your business. <laughs> mind, your business. <laughs> mind your business. That's, that's, Boy, your, that's, that's you and your mama problem now. Always in other folk business. That's dope right there, brother. Boy, you can't <laughs> take that away. That ain't something. See, that's how you know this brother right here done been. He come up like me, old country boy. Oh, yeah. He already, you know, the boy say she was selling moonshine. moonshine. I call it white lightning. Did she put it in the in gin jars? boxes? Yeah. So, I mean, did she ever put them in them gin in them, bottles? In them secret, in them secret <laughs> bottles, man. <yeah. laughs> She did it, didn't that she? Was, she had a whole box on it, a whole case on the corner. Stack this out. Boy, that's what I'm, I'm talking, talking about. about you to get so drunk, man. Shout out to Uncle Sonny, man, yeah. baby. <laughs> yeah, you used to drink it straight up and down, man. Yes, yeah, sir, man. Man, so so when you, did you ever try it? I started drinking it when I was three years old. I tried it, bro, one time. I, I stole some. Yeah, 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 that's how I go. And, and you that, couldn't do and it. And that's how I learned my lesson. <laughs> it but burned. I was, but I was sick for three days. I know it. The thing don't feel easy. Well, how but, much did you drink? I drank a big swallow. Call you to see the bootlegger, they did, they'll get a little shot. Oh, let me get another one, Fanny. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Let me get another one, Fanny. That's what I'm saying to myself. Right. But I hit that thing, that thing burnt so hard. I uh -huh. said, ooh, start slobbing out of my snot, start coming up my nose. I said, uh oh, um, boy. Uh, boy, yeah. You know what, man? You start doing your mouth in the gray like this, just trying to. Trying to get it off you, boy. I had wrote down feeling me. I say partying on these yachts, yeah. living life to the fullest. And and you just come back from Hawaii, nigga. I said, boy, that nigga, he living his like best life. I'm living my best life. <laughs> Hallelujah, man. So when you when you think about uh, just um, just the the music where it is today. Uh, versus when you were selling CDs, because yeah. you was in that era too. I still is. Uh, uh, okay, but they, but they I'm talking about team. when it was first, like oh, when yeah, it was yeah, really yeah, wasn't yeah. nothing else. Yeah, come on now. Yeah, yeah. It was just yeah. you and the car and the trunk and maybe I handle C two. Nigga, give me five, give me ten dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell and me see, something about that. See, see, and like that back then, I was always a hustler. Like I hit all the flea markets, bro. You know all the flea markets. Everybody got CD stand. Huh, man. Here go my number, man. Sell it for 10. You keep seven. Shoot me three. Who go, who, who ain't going to want to do that? They going to want that. You going to get it out there for him. Because you got to think about it. You get a 1,000 CD for $200. That's man, a hustler mentality. On. I go to every. You know, Atlanta got all the flea markets. Heck yeah. Oh, man, I know every African out there. Huh, you got had it going. Huh, man. Every time. Yeah, they be talking about stream. I ain't worried about no stream. Yeah, yeah. I get mine out. Shows in the ECD. Well, they said it's, uh, in streaming, when you think about it, they say uh, I mean, a million streams, streams yeah. is $4,000. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You can do that quick. A million CDs is a million dollars. You sell them at $1. <laughs> see that? You see that? You so right you got to be smart, don't you? Yeah, man. You got to think about it, man. I, I sent three folks here to Atlanta, here to, three to South Memphis, three to Colorado, three to New York, three to Cali. Everybody meet in the middle. By the time y'all do hit all these little cities, about four, five months, everybody gonna know me. Wow, that's dope, man. So I know you keep saying that a lot that um, search artists, search artists have done a lot for you. He educated you with a lot of things with the business and so forth. Right. Have you found someone that you try to pass that on to them, like try to help somebody that could be under you? 
could you know educate them about the business because you always want to pass on what you what you've learned what God has blessed you with I mean I tried it you know what I'm saying but I'm glad I ain't give them too much of the business because mm. they cross me yeah wow okay. so now I'm kind of stiff on that because I'm big on Lord mm-hmm. so I really just stay in my lane and just do what I got to do for me now because when I did do that I got crossed out by a dude now he got crossed out by his dude and I'm still mm-hmm. up that's why I say look at God. Yeah. So wow. to answer that question, I don't really think I'd do that again. But I got a couple partners that I work with and we'll show them the game, but I ain't going to go too deep with it with them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because you never know. Cause I never thought this dude would have did it. We growed up together mm-hmm. from five, six years old. It took for some music to cross us. And you've been doing music when, since we were 12. And yeah, we 39. And I bring you in the door and you cross me. Right. Ain't that something? Yeah, and then... They be want to talk late. Ain't no talk, man. No. You don't cry. Man. I don't got no word for you. I wish you the best, but just stay from around me, dog. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know what yeah. I'm no, I get it. Just stay from around me, dog. Yeah. So do you do you do you feel like you know, um, with the music the way that it is now, um, how do you stay relevant in these times? I know you've been doing it, and and a lot of people want to be where you at. These people yeah. can't get shows. But see, like, a lot of people yeah. say they got fake views and yeah. they out here trying to figure it out and they trying to trick you, fake it till you make it. Right. You know I'm telling the truth. You, you ain't lying, but see, I got two dudes I roll with. You'll see me on some show with Willie Mack, 350, and I got one man, Jay Rizzo, my labor mate, outside Sir Charles and poking all them. You know what I'm saying? Because I know they solid and they riding. You know what I'm saying? They were there when I ain't had nothing. Mm-hmm. And they don't help me out in certain aspects. Because the dude I brought in ain't helped me on nothing for real. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He was talented. You know, I ain't gonna never take that from nobody. He was talented, but you weren't getting where you had to go. I got you on another level, and you crossed me. Wow. When you thought you seen another open door. Now that door closed. This door, he'll got a lock on it now, bro. <laughs> wow. You know what I'm saying? Had an opportunity. And they got do not enter and enter at your own risk. Wow. So you enter at your own risk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. I get it, man. <laughs> it's hard to try to, you know, build something back up when you when it's crossed you. It's hard to sit in the chair when it broke on you already. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to sit back in that chair because you, you fail. And I got, like, I got a lady. She hosts my shows. Any, anytime I got a show, she hosts them. You know what I'm saying? It's a family thing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Stephanie Batiste. Man. Poker Jones. It's a family thing. Like, if I got a show, she go host it. If she get having something, that could, that could bring me in, she go bring me in. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I understand everybody don't like rap. You know what I'm saying? In Southern Soul. But a lot of them folks get beside themselves, bro, with all them shots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And y'all see me on here humble. Yeah. Y'all think, because I'm so positive and I met, bro, this ain't been me all my life. Already. I'm just a changed man. Me and Poker John got a song called The Chain Man. <laughs> but don't make me go back to that old oh, man, man, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I try to be her like Stephen, and she like, news no, just. Just kill them with kindness and kill them with sadness and kill them with success. I'm exactly. like, now nah, I want to kill them with a nine. Because they <laughs> yeah. keep calling my name, man. <laughs> man I ain't I know saying it. that to these folk, man. You don't like Southern rapping so so cool. But they still rock You got to keep putting it on this person, post But you know, person. let me say something to you, Bad News. That's what the devil do. He try to trick you out your position. Right, right. You're in a better position than the guys you're probably even talking about. Mm. So you can't get caught yep. up in that. To where, that's deep. That's oh, deep, man, bro. listen, man. Don't let the devil trick you out of your position. It has nothing to do with the people that's talking that's about so you true. either. Yeah. It's, it's a spiritual thing. To where, like Charles, I'm saying, he said, man, look, you've been in here 10 months. Default been in here 10, 15 years. Look how you moving, bro. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. So don't do not do that. That's yeah. what happened with uh, when 50 Cent tricked Ja Rule out of his position. He could have just yeah, kept oh, rapping man. with them women. Just, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? That's but he didn't. He, do. he didn't. He you wanted to rap with Now you're a gangster. Now you're a gangster. He just left that alone. Well, you would get millions of love songs. Why would I even do it? You were the best at it, too. Couldn't nobody rock with them women like exactly. Ja Rule. And you got all that money. And he Why left 50 Cent. And 50 Cent been on air since. Yeah, and 50 ain't letting you trick out him out of his spot. Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> and he's still bashing folk. <laughs> and the nigga good, though. Yeah. And 50 Cent is a, nigga it, he man. a whole nother beast, man. You know, it's okay to like, see, people wanted you to pick between Ja Rule and 50 Cent, but it's okay to like Ja Rule and 50 Cent. Yeah, of course. Both of them are different. Yeah. 50 Cent is more of a business mogul, and people don't re- didn't want to realize that, even when he did that water deal. Right. You know what I'm saying? That vitamin water deal. You man, know? that man gets so much money. Listen, man, man, now he's showing you on this new movie all this different stuff that he's doing. Bro, ain't nobody can rock with that boy like he doing it, man. Get that man his roses while he's here. I swear to God, man. You know what I'm saying? That man real with it, bro. Yeah, he wrong, man. I, he, ain't nobody doing what he ain't doing. Ain't nobody doing 50 doing, man. And he still can do what he want to do on the negative end. 
That nigga is bad, dog. <laughs> I gotta give it up. I ain't to seen him. nobody like it, bro, man. man. Shout out to Fifty, man. So, so is there anybody else that you haven't worked with that, that you like, like to work, work with? Hmm. Yeah. Who? Patty Labelle. Man, give it up, bro. That'd be see, give I think, it up, I bro. Think different. I, see, I think That'd money. That'd be something different. Bad news on the song with Patty Labelle. Who wouldn't buy that even if they <laughs> didn't like? They just want to hear what I'm, what we she saying or we saying. Mm. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Them, a lot of folks want to talk about up. who popping now in the region going on now. Legendary. Mm. Legendary. Longevity. Longevity. Song going to be here. Huh. And if I were to do a rap song, Drake. Drake Everybody for sure. says Drake. Yeah, it's Everybody the money. It's the money. Drake. It's the money. It's the money. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Any genre. Any genre. Pop. Only three. Pop. Number two. Soldier Slim. See, I'm different now. Okay. okay. I said any Number genre. Three. I didn't just say rap either. Okay. Uh, Number three. Say Pac. Soldier Slim. Slim. Number three. Sir Charles. Sir Charles. Man, I love that dude, man. That nigga that man, he don't even know. <laughs> I, I love the nigga before he even came on my show. Home, bro. Just, and then when I met him, he confirmed it. See, I done met people that didn't confirm it. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. When you done met everybody, you have a. I, I have been a fan of people, and I actually care. Like, dang man, this, I'm gonna be happy when I meet them. When I met them, it wasn't even what I thought. And they right. were, it was a condescending. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 it was an anticlimactic event. I get, I get a little <laughs> deep. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, an anticlimactic event. Good. You, you, God, I, I thought it was gonna be good. Huh? But when I got there, talk to him. It let me down like a movie when you go and you got. Yeah. Damn, it wasn't good as I thought it was gonna be. The trailer looked all good. Yeah, and then you get there and I meet the guy and I'm like, damn man, this messed my whole thing. I wish I hadn't met him. Right, right. Because if I hadn't met him, I still had that genuine love for him. But now I see what type of sucker he is. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't yeah. like the Sir Charles is a gentleman yeah. and a scholar and a legend, bro. Legend, a legend. Period. And I'm gonna put that out there, and I don't care who don't like it. King. Real talk. Just when somebody show you that love like that, they don't want to get. They don't. They don't be want to give my boss his props, man. Man, they don't want to give him his props, man. You better get that man and fly away. He'll. I just said you that. Got to give it to him, man. I can't wait to see him back on here. Um, so, um, it was one more song I wanted to ask you about too. Uh, it was uh, Rare Breed. Yeah, that ride or die. Yeah, so, so that, was, see, ride, I didn't know yeah. that. Ride or die, Rare Breed. I, yep. I looked at it and I seen the title of Ride or Die. Uh -huh. I think on one, and then I seen Rare Breed. Breed on other. Yep. What was yep. it? How did? Why did it come up with two different? Because we ain't know what we wanted to name. <laughs> 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 we ain't know what we wanted. I said, let's just put both of them out there. Whatever they call it, that what they go call it. Wow. They call it Ride or Die, Rare Breed. Man, that would work for me. That would work. <laughs> <laughs> Say, how's that food down there in Alabama, man? Man, you know what I tell them? What are they known for down there in your hometown? Cause we go through. Uh, is that where is that Albanathy? Mm, no. uh, at Birmingham. 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 We be on downtown. Oh, we know the soul food, man. Okay. What you know? What you know about a Boston butt? I ain't. Not, that's what we trying to figure out. Never Ooh. heard that. It's what? A, it's a piece. It's meat. Barbecue, it's just a big old round piece of meat where you smoke it for about 10 left miles, you just cut off and then eat it. A Boston, Boston butt. butt. Boston butt. Wow. Boston butt. So you think See, they got the best barbecue stuff. down there? Nah. Where the best barbecue at? Hill. You think so? Hill or Memphis. Hill or Memphis. Yeah, Hill. I had Memphis some. go hard, Memphis though. Memphis got that sauce, boy. Where You said here. Where here you like that barbecue? What was it? Well, I ate some homemade barbecue. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, Sir Charles got their uh, mm -hmm. truck. You know, him and uh, Uncle Booker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I done had some of their barbecue. And it went down. What? Yes, so, it did, <laughs> So what, I don't supposed to be eating pork. You don't, why? Because you're a Muslim? No. I'm, uh uh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I just asked it. I don't, I don't uh, know. I just, I just Health try to stay away man, cause it, it, it takes too much to get that weight off you in the gym, man. And I've yeah. been in the gym every day. I know why I eat pork, it takes so long for that stuff to come out, man. Wow. Yeah. You see Beef that? do too. Beef. Yeah, I eat a lot of ground turkey and stuff. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, you know, if you could go back and talk to the younger you, if you was. The listen, younger me? Yes, if you could go back and talk say, to you. Don't, don't go over there and steal Listen, that. And, and, no, no, that was when shot. he was little. I'm talking about when he was uh, 17, oh, okay. 16, when he was about to go through getting out of high school before he probably went to uh, got went to that roadblock. Yeah. What would you say to you to try to help you to change because of where you was headed? Uh, and and I always say. What would it, I would say to me? Yeah. You should have told mama no. 
when she said take the car. Hell yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> you know what? I always said uh, if I was talking to me and I I know how I was, I wouldn't feel listening to me. I wouldn't feel listening to no damn body. <laughs> Think about that for a minute. You to come talk to me and I didn't know you was me. I was like, I'll still deal with that did it anyway. See what I'm saying? Yeah. You're going to be nah, like, hey, hell no, nah, nigga, get out of here. Yeah, man, you? Go, on, go on, drop the baby out so you're going to drop the rocks out. <laughs> <laughs> Say, man. So, hey, man, we love you, brother. Man, love y'all too. Thank okay, y'all for having me, bro. How can people get a hold of you, man? Oh, man, you can uh, get a hold of me on all social media platforms at Bad News 334. That's B A D D E N E W Z 334. All music platform. You want to book me? Contact Jeffrey Hunter at 334-560-6807. Wow. Let's get it. So who would, and I'll ask you this before we get off of here. When you, was, I know you've been with Sir Charles, but who have you seen over these months uh, and and and, and it, you met him and you was like, damn, I'm glad I got to meet him. Well. You see what I'm saying? Because you run into different people doing different shows, being different places. Yeah. I'm bad news now. I'm affiliated with Southern Soul. Yeah. Who did you meet that you was like, damn, when you met him, it was like, damn, th th this is dope. Bobby Rush. Bobby Rush. Bobby, I met Bobby Rush, man, and he, he sat me down and talked to me. He like, man, I, I've been watching you. I've been seeing what you're doing. He like, man, you changing the game. He said, don't let nobody downplay you, bring you down to a lower level. When they talking about you, they thinking about you. He said, keep doing what you're doing. He like, hey, you at this arena with me right now, ain't you? He said, they probably mm -hmm. on Facebook somewhere talking about you. Yeah, yeah. He said, take, this, take them haters as blessings because they keeping you relevant. Exactly. Wow, you and Bobby Rush linked up just yep. like that. And when I met, um, you know, my, a new part of my management, Casino. Shout out to Casino. Shout out to Casino. Yeah, uh, he he just brought me in. He like, man, I got you. He like, man, I used to do rap. He said, I feel where you coming from. And this, so, so he, he said, they go respect you. He said, your grind. Can't nobody stop your grind. He like, we got you. And they've been a man. They were there since. Wow, that's just dope to have a good family from around. From Sir Charles to Casino to Uncle Jermaine Rayford. The Jeffrey Hunter ain't nothing on lies to me, bro. Whatever they said they were going to do, they done did it. From Poker Bear and all on. Wow. Poker Bear, he said, man, it's all about building a relationship. I love that Poker you. Bear. He Ever said, since I, he, I met that nigga. Man, when we did that song and, and I broke bread with that man, he said, man, you just, you build a relationship. He said, man, I got you. He said, I love your grind. And every time he do a show, he like, y'all want my nephew? They say, yeah, he bring me on and we rock it with our song and they go crazy. Wow. Yeah. That's that's dope because Country just, Wayne just shared our stuff, bro. Me and Poker Video, Country I Wayne know and that it. girl, I yeah, seen that. they shared. Ro? Yeah, Ro. Ro, remember I told you yeah. we was on the phone. I said I've been talking back to Ro. Yeah, she shared when and for with him, man. I ain't know who she was, and you know she the same woman that played Big Fifty, uh, Remy Mom, Grandma on the movie that Remy Mom starred in with the Dale Ron the Hood story. Wow. Shot the Big Fifty, uh, the Dale Ron the Hood story. She, cause you know she got my music in the movie starring right. Remy Mom and Tank. And uh, Ro, she didn't even know that was my song. And we was all in the movie premiere and everything together on the BET Red Carpet. She didn't even know that was me. Wow. So <laughs> and, and so Country Wayne, how did that make you feel? Because Country Wayne got crazy followings, right? So how did that make you feel that they, I was, I, I was, I follow her, so I seen it when she posted it. Mm -hmm. And then me and you talked that morning. It was like six in the morning. Yep. Me and you was up early. Hustle, I be up man. every morning early. She know it. I'm up and at you two, three what? in the morning. And, you, and, and to answer that question, <laughs> I'm going to go answer that question. You know what I thought? Show money and prices just went up. <laughs> Cause they see, just I, went up. Was like, I, I, don't know, I, don't, I didn't even know it. I, bad news. Like, I don't, I don't, what, he was like, she, I, I think I told you that. You told me that she I told you that. I, said, I didn't even know it. Yeah, I told him. I was like, man, yeah, but that was a, I said, man, because I always be texting Ro because I be trying to get a, like when I come to Atlanta, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a interview you. Yeah. And she always hit me back. Shout out to Ro, man. You're a real one. I know that because she didn't have to. And then yeah, I emailed tell, and everything. Tell her to post it again. <laughs> So so, why did you make you like, dang, for real, like, yeah, and, and, and went down that rabbit hole, man. And then, and then Big Fifty called. She like, I told you, God go bless you, boy. He said, she said, I got your back, new man. Big Fifty, I rock with Big Fifty, man. Wow, real trap queen. She's silent at home, bro. You got to get home on this radio show, bro. And we gonna do it, man. Yeah, you got to get on. We this gonna radio do it, show, man. man. I'm going to Atlanta the next month on she the twentieth. Detroit. She in Detroit. Yeah, we gotta this go to Detroit, man. On yeah, this one on twenty. She, she we gotta go to Detroit. Oh, she'll come. Let's set it up. Me and you yeah. gonna set it up. I gotta show y'all. You seen the movie? Uh uh. I'm, I'm finna oh, watch man. it though. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's is streaming it on, is number it on, one. All right. See, the Dale Ronda Hood story. Wow. It's on BET and BET. Based Plus. on the true story. Yeah, based on Big Fifty, the Dale Ronda Hood story. Yep. We can get on here, man. Yeah, that, man. That's what. That's what I'm telling you. Like, that's why I know when I like I went at you hard. Like, I got to get you on the show because we said something, yeah. and if we said it, we got to do it. That's but the way I go back think. to what Pokemon said. That's being relationships. 
That's it. See so when saying? we said that that day, and we made I, it happen, I said, "Man, I got to get on the show." And I hit him back because I, I, I kept asking Sir Charles, "If he tell you coming, he coming." And I'm like, "Well, hell, I don't. I think me and you hadn't talked at that time. Yeah, I had. I didn't know your managers. Right. I just knew you. You're right. And I knew Sir Charles, which gets me nowhere really because y'all go through y'all managers, and that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, damn, man. So I hit you. I just happened to say, "I'm gonna go and hit him this morning." Yeah. And I was. I'm, I thank God I did. And you we know? Then I'm you him. gave me the manager number still, and I. I still respected it. You know mm-hmm. that. I called both of them. You want me to call two people. I said, yep. I said I'm calling whoever you tell me to call because I just want to, <laughs> you know, I thank y'all for blessing the platform, man. Brother. I, I thank, thank y'all I for thank coming, y'all for man. Me, bro. You know what I'm saying? People don't know how how real it is down here in the South, man. Right. You know, I'm real, real, I'm, and I'm I'm real funny about y'all. Yeah. I don't play about y'all. Cause I know niggas ever in these other hoods don't do it like this. This yeah, ain't something yeah, they even, yeah, yeah, they don't yeah, even yeah, know yeah. how they to handle it. They don't rock with Southern Soul for real, I bro. do. Yeah. And I'm going to continue to rock with it because that's who I am. I listen to blues my wife know that i can't come over here and be fake i listen to rap i even listen to a little country at work yeah. you know you got, to, you got to have all the genres <laughs> but man. at the end of the day man i just i value the fact of the music and the history of the music and our people man i never yeah. forget what you guys do for me man. and see what making you different you rocking with all genre that will go take boss talk to the top man you know what you man know what i'm saying God is good. That's all I can say, and I receive it. Yeah. Bro, it's already spoken into existence. Say, man, boy, you, hey, you tell Grandma raise you right. <laughs> it's already spoken into existence. Say, bro. man, thank you. We love you, man. man appreciate bad y'all for having me, man. Say, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.